My name is uh, Boris Cers. I'm uh, a captain of the flight of, uh, to, from Réunion uh, to Paris today. We are in Réunion now. Um, I am with uh, David Gray, uh, first officers, and uh, second first officers because the flight is uh, uh, more than 10 hours. Uh, he's uh, David uh, Bagonzoli. So we will now uh, begin the briefing. So uh, please uh, come with us. Welcome you all. We will begin the, the briefing. Uh, to prepare the flight. Um, so we will, let's begin uh, with um, the iPad, the, all the revision, we check all the revision is uh, okay. Um, so we're good, mine is fine. Mine is fine, it's green, all is green. Okay. Um, so the aircraft is uh, a Boeing 777 today. Uh, the um, registration is a Fox Oscar Romeo Echo uniform. Um, the technical situation is good, uh, no MEL mm -hmm. for today. Um, the, uh, we will save the parking uh, later on. Um, the loading, we are a lot of uh, passengers, uh, quite full uh, today. Uh, we expected zero fuel of um, two, 22 tons. Okay. Apparently there is no cargo. Uh, no cargo, uh, no special cargo. Uh, we check already uh, the basic weight and uh, the dry operating index. Uh, we are all agree about that. Um, so next, uh, talk about the weather, uh, please, David. Yes, oh. about the weather. Um, I check uh, all airports uh, en route, and um, we can expect for departure uh, facing east on way one two for departure, okay. and uh, at arrival. Um, at uh, Charles de Gaulle, uh, we can expect facing west for okay. the runway 26 right, maybe, okay. and also for the alternate uh, early. Okay. Uh, we can expect uh, some uh, thunderstorm activity over Addis, okay. as usual, okay. and uh, maybe approaching uh, the Alps. Okay. okay. And over before arriving in Italy, I saw some cat. I yes, think. maybe some cat. Okay, good. Uh, good for the weather. The route, uh, we have the route uh, 14 Alpha, we know it. Uh, um, the, um, we have um, ATOPS. Uh, we take, we compute the ATOPS with the. Uh, um, it's been checked with the windows. And then uh, Bogadi, uh, Mombasa, the Mombasa. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, I check all, all the weather, it's good. Yes. And um, yes, the fuel erupts uh, is zero. Okay, so uh, we'll check the NOTAM, please. Well, we have not much to declare. Okay. Uh, for departure, it's pretty fine, so nothing in Reunion. About the destinations, we have a closed runway, but we know it. It's still the same, s southern runway in Paris, number four, okay. is closed, so it should be runway 26 right. Regarding the um, destination alternates, nothing in Paris or Lille. And for the en route alternates, we've talked about it. We have uh, in Luxor, we have AIP, so we'll have to check with uh, regarding the charts and the uh, and the database if we have to dive it there. But we could also take another field. And there is an also closed runway in uh, Cairo. Center closed. Center runway is closed. And then for the rest of the, of the flight, nothing, we have not much to declare, nothing okay, to... Okay, okay, thank you. Um, okay, so the, we compute the performance. Uh, we have an out of uh, 344. I agree with that. Uh, Will be uh, our limitation uh, for today. D'accord. Um, so we compute the fuel at uh, 97 blocks. Good for me. Uh, 97 tons for block, okay. block fuel, and uh, we will adjust this uh, with the latest uh, zero fuel. D'accord. Sure. Um, you have uh, all your crew license uh, yes, all is, uh, up to date, okay, yeah. thank you. Um, I think we have all, I just have to communicate all the per performance uh, and all the data to the, the operation, and then we will be ready. All so right. you will uh, handle the flight, uh, David? Yeah. Then, um, so you will take the first rest. What? You're the last, and I will take the second. Right. Okay for you? Okay. okay, thank you very much. Let's go.
folks, we're good to go. We're gonna have a walk around. Please follow me. Let's go. You'll see we come outside, it's a bit, it's gonna be noisy for a few for a few minutes, so I'll try to speak as loud as I can. But please come follow me. Having a quick look at the fuselage, we don't see anything abnormal. This uh, this is all, all these little vents should be closed, they are. So now having a look at the tires, so they should not be too worn, they should not have any thread separation and no damage, so it's Normally it's been looked by uh, by the engineers, but we uh, we, we always have to cross check. Having a look, having a look at, the, um, at, the, at the at the at the at the strut, it should not be compressed, you know, and uh, we we should not see any trace of leak or liquids around, and I don't see anything. To check all the way up the angle of the track vane, it should it's there and it's not damaged. Then you have the total air temperature uh, probe, the ice detector, and the left heater tube. This is all clear and no damage. This little uh, dot that you see here is a front camera and this is not damaged here, it's all clear. The access door is secure, closed and latched. A little green disc should all be, I mean, should be green to go. So this is our full oxygen discharge and this is good. I don't see any trace of impact on the radon. We have all the uh, diverter stripes, so we're good. Uh, vein is looking good, tap good. I have to take it also, everything's fine. The door was checked already. This little access door is normally open with two GPU connected. We don't have any today, so we're on the APU. Door is closed and I don't see any trace of damage around the door. Same for the cargo door, it's already closed. And it's looking uh, good. Now the static ports, they should be clear of anything. And apparently they are the belly of the aircraft to see if there's any trace of uh, damage and there's not. So let's have a look now at the engine. This is the right engine. You have to, to have another other, other view of the engine. All this little access door should be closed. Have a look below. Trace of, of liquids could be all something, nothing. The reversers are uh, well connected, so this is good. Let's have a look at the exhaust area now and the take home. This is also an area where, where, where you must have a look and check if there's any, any leak of anything. So I don't see a thing. Exhaust area, take home, looks fine to me. So now we're gonna have a full look at the, at the wing. So first we'll start with the leaning edge. So we're going to have a look at the slats, don't see any damage, so come and follow me, we're going to go all the way to the wing tip. So I do check here that the lights, navigation light is working, and then I have to count all this uh, little static weeks. so we, I, I need to count 15. which I do have, they should all be of equal length and they should all be there, so they're there. So I've checked upstairs that the parking brake was set. So now I have to check that the brake where indicated it says this should be out of the guide. And then the same. You have this the little green disc on the side just to check about the fuel oxygen, and it's good. Okay, so now back in the tail few things to check, so we're going to have to check the vertical and horizontal satellite, the rudder, and the elevators. So here I have to count the roots. So the APU outlet is completely uh, clear and in a good state. Weeks in that size are all there. Same the leaning edge is looking good. On the horizontal and the vertical side. So now we're going to do exactly the same but on that side of the aircraft. So we check the state of the door. 
This is the after outflow valve. It should be open about say than it is. The fuselage is looking good. No trace of pin facts, nothing. You also, below you have to check all the different antennas and the mast. So this is a drain map there. And it, and it, it looks good. So have a look at the flaps. Flap run is there. We're going to have a look on the other side. Looks good. There's still the flaps. Then the checks the nozzle is there and in a good state. Discharge wakes, they're all there. Navigation lights, okay. Let's have a look at the leaning edge now of the wing. It's looking good, the vents, they're clear. So the panel there for the for a few of course open for a few minutes now. So the engine again, you have to first you have the overview and then you get closer. So now I'm back in the flight deck just to report what I've seen to, to the other members of the crew. With the OPT, then uh, we will make the, uh, the okay. insert Already. the figure, then uh, we will make the briefing. Okay, for you check the setting first. Yes. Um, you see OPT 4.31, uh, right. uh, policy 21 uh, June 2017, okay. airport uh, August 1st. Uh, August, uh, okay. Yeah, and uh, DDG it's uh, R34 uh, 02. Roger for me. We are on the Fox Oscar Romeo Eco uniform. Check. Departure uh, a run, uh, runway 12, full 12, condition dry, wind uh, plus 5. Check. Uh, temperature 27, QNH 1023. Right. Rating optimum, flaps uh, optimum, uh, aircon uh, auto, anti icing uh, engine plus wing auto. Okay. Take off weight. Uh, 320 uh, tons. Okay. And I select the CG uh, 20. Uh, stand by 319. We can take 319. Right. You have 319. Let's check. Uh, yes, for 318.4. I'm agree. 319 and the uh, CG 32. That's okay. 324 TG. Ready for the uh, ready solution. I read the uh, flaps 15, runway 12. Take off uh, gross weight uh, 319. Right. Direct take off one uh, 97.5. Select okay. temperature 33. Three. Right. Acceleration eight uh, 1070. Okay. Okay. For the speed V1 uh, 164, V R 170, and V2 175. Roger. Roger. Okay, so we check the figure here. Uh, we have a zero fuel of uh, 221.3. 21.3, check. It's uh, a gross weight uh, 318.4 and take uh, off 318. We can uh, make a select uh, uh, yes. calculator. I delete uh, okay. the fuel. It's a calculated fuel. Okay. And I read uh, 318.8, uh, take off 318.4. For a 319 computer. Oh, yes. Uh, so the CG is uh, 3 2. 3 2 as a cruise CG. So and the, the other one, uh, 3 2 on the takeoff page. Roger. I read so the trim 4.25. Roger. And the solution is the flaps uh, 15 with a direct uh, takeoff 1 uh, 33 cell temp and 197.5. Check. Check. Runway 1 2. 319 tons and the V1 in 164 164 VR 170 170 V2 175 
What we have 75. Uh, so okay, thank you. you take it. Oui. Ça du poste. J'écoute. Alors on a un litre de 113 080 litres. Euh... 113 000, c'est... I'm agree. Ok, we agree. You oh. can, je, vous pouvez, tu peux déconnecter. Et euh, on n'a pas de groupe, donc c'est bon. Ok. Ok, merci à vous, à tout à l'heure. Merci à tout à l'heure. Uh, Just to be sure, it was V1164, VR170, V2175. Roger, so I'll, I'll lead you. I'll ok, you I read, read my part. Uh, flap 15, runway 12. Take off course with uh, 319. Right. Turns, uh, D rate take off 1, 97.5. Yes. Uh, assume uh, 33. Roger. And uh, V1, 164, VR, 170, V2, 175. Okay. So we are now finished uh, uh, the insertion of the figure and uh, we can make a briefing. Okay. Uh, you're ready for the brief? Ready. There we go. First, we talk about the TEM. Um, Many cameras on board uh, today. Um, maybe uh, to mitigate uh, a lot of guests today in the cockpit. <laughs> yeah. Hello, uh, Hello. We do uh, as usual. We apply uh, SOP and uh, no less, no more. Okay. Okay for you. So, something to add? Yes. So the we are we are in Reunion Island, so we have a lot of terrain yeah. in the south part of the runway. Uh, I will make terrain on my side. Cockpit. Perfect. Okay. Right for that. Uh, about uh, the dispatch, uh, we can hydraulic press, engine shut down, brake source, doors, decas of fuel, press. I agree with that. Uh, about the uh, ATL? Uh, yes, the ATL, no more MR. Uh, it's confirmed. And uh, we have daily, we have uh, ATOPS pre flight, everything is alright. Okay. About the status, uh, nothing uh, more. And about the workaround? Hello? Look around was good to me. Okay, thanks. Yeah. The aircraft is fit for flight. About weather and no times, uh, nothing uh, for the departure. We can uh, return no no time and uh, good weather. Okay. That's uh, suitable. Uh, about the fuel, we take a 97.5. Uh, the uh, liters is a uh, check. Yeah, it's been agreed. And we need only the, the papers, the bill. All right. Yeah. Is missing, yeah, and uh, expect uh, about uh, 12 tons. On uh, it's due to weather and uh, busy airport on arrival. Okay, okay, we check that. Uh, start up as usual, the push uh, facing uh, maybe west. Uh, taxiing intersection uh, Charlie for full length on way 1 2. We'll take off uh, flap 15, uh, direct take off 1, uh, trim uh, 4.2. 25 and green bound, uh, full length on the way 1 2 and uh, gross weight is cover 3 8 18 for cover for 3 19. Correct. V1 164, VR 170, V2 175. Okay. It will be uh, departure in uh, flight level 3 2 0 initially. Also? We are covered for max at flight level 341. Uh, good to me. Yes. Um, for that uh, and uh, departure constraint. Uh, constraint. Uh, no constraint on departure. Maybe we'll exceed uh, 250 uh, knots uh, during climb due to weight. Heavy. Okay. It's about uh, for climb 252 minimum. In case of turbulence, I will choose uh, 265, maybe. As you wish. Okay, for that. Um, VMSA uh, for the departure will be uh, 3,000 feet uh, after turning uh, left over the sea. And the relief uh, obstacle uh, is on the right side Roger. on departure. Uh, about never it's, it's free. Sierra Delta Golf uh, in automatic. Uh, RNP we have checked already and PROG also. Uh, departure route also. Use of automation. We'll use auto throttle arm uh, selected. V2175 LNAV VNAV arm. Adding 1 to 1 and 3000 feet for air nav departure. 
FD on. That's it. In case uh, of engine failure, I suggest that we after or V1 we follow VSID, left turn over the sea, and uh, in case of emergency, uh, smoke or fire, uh, smoke and not under control. For an immediate return, uh, I select uh, the route two, uh, the NRG NSS runway one two, the okay. longer one. Okay. Uh, via Oakley, we check that already, and uh, it will be another weight uh, landing in that case on an emergency return, and uh, we'll select uh, twin engine uh, flaps uh, 25 okay. and single right. engine uh, in case it will be flaps 20 Roger. for okay. landing. Okay. Uh, and in no, if no emergency, we have uh, we have ten hours to to think about and uh, okay. And deal uh, we have uh, forty-five minutes to jettison if uh, we have uh, yes, about to return minutes. to Reunion with the we w if we can wait. Okay. okay. Nothing okay. special for me. Uh, something to add? No, no question. No, thank you, thank you very much. much. Okay. So okay. to bring it, swing it over now. We sorry for waiting you. You are. Uh, this is Mirella. And she, uh, from Island. yes, from Mariana Island, and uh, <laughs> and the load sheet is uh, now ready, so we can uh, nearly depart. Merci. Okay, okay. on a two. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to pay close attention to this film which shows our safety instructions. Situé de chaque côté de la cabine, sont signalés par un panneau exit qui s'éclairera en cas d'urgence. The plan emergency exits located on each side of the cabin are clearly indicated by exit signs which will come on in case of an emergency. Allez, mobile phone switch off. Right. No, the door closed? No, not encore. No. So, just to let you guys know, we are waiting for the cargo doors to close. Everybody's on board. We're ready. Salut, boss. Oui, écoute. Confirm tous les portes fermées, poids de logement, les abords dégagés, car le retien n'est pas connecté, la strip est en place, on est barré pour le push. Reçu, on pressurise. Uh, you can pressurize. Copy, there we go. Before start checklist. Before, before start checklist. Flight deck door. Close and lock. Passenger sign. Right. MCP. Uh, one seven five heading one two one and uh, altitude three thousand feet. Check. Take off speed. Uh, v one one sixty four. VR one seventy. V two one seven five. Check. Speed of flight. Complete. Trim. Uh, four point two five zero zero. Checked. Taxi and takeoff briefing complete. Down. Before start, the checklist complete. Can I ask for clearance? Yes. Bonjour, push mise en route approuvée. On a vu que le push a mis en route, on va rappeler pour rouler rayon de la scène. Le seul du poste J'écoute. Je confirme toutes portes fermées, poignée dans leur logement, barre connectée. Confirme tous les portes fermées, pas de logement. La barre connectée à ce prix. La stéripine est en place, on est paré pour le push. Uh, we are authorized. Confirm we are authorized. Yes. Yeah. Uh, le train de parc est retiré. On est prêt au repoussage face à l'ouest. Bloc 28. Bloc 28 face à l'ouest, on est parti. Correct. Bloc time 28, we are now ready. And the push is beginning.
Ça rien pas tourné. Ah si. Transfer rider start right engine. Right. Start. Start. Yep. Uh, le trafic du 193. Allez, écoute. Oui, je peux vous passer les éléments là. Allez-y. Un impositif. Oui, alors l'avion c'est le 50 Juliette Echo. Une masse de base 14015. Index moins 1550. Euh, un pétrole bloc 2860. Délestage 1140. Roulage 30. Et une masse maxi décollage 2200. Masse maxi atterrissage 2350 pour le 193. Alors j'ai copié euh, 14015, masse de base, moins 15.5 DOI. Bloc fuel 2 tonnes 860. Délestage 1 tonne 140. Taxi 30, Maxi Takeoff 22.8, Maxi Landing Way 22.5. Ça passe par émise en route moteur 1. Par émise moteur 1. Right, start complete. Start left engine. Côté. Left. Euh, start. Pas encore. Oui. Ah, piste de aussi, mais par Fox, euh, on regarde les côtés jusqu'à le parc. Euh... Adjoint stabilisé, vers appliquer la fin de parc, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Un euh... impositif au dehors. Merci. Pour le passe, frein de parc appliqué, tu peux déconnecter la barre. Bien reçu. Sol du poste, euh, deux mises en route correctes, tu peux te déconnecter, me faire signe à gauche et merci, à bientôt. Signe à votre gauche, bon voilà, à bientôt. A bientôt. Flat 15. Check. Flat 15, check flight control. L1, left, center, right. Center, elevator, down, center, right, center, you make me a sign, reader, left, center, right, center, before taxi, uh, checklist, before taxi checklist on TIs, auto, auto, recall, check, Flight control, check. Ground equipment, clear left, center, right, clear. Before taxi checklist okay. complete. Okay, you have control, my ATC. My control. Weather on. Camera on. My control. It's time to taxi. Rain and 971, uh, ready to copy. Rain and 971, uh, omnidirection, uh, departure 1 2, left hand out to Vena, level uh, 320. Omnidirectional 1, 2, 5, 3, 2, 0, and we are ready to taxi ring 971. 971 taxi via Charlie, enter backtrack line point 2, report to report departure. Via Charlie, enter backtrack 1, 2, report to ring 971. Uvena, omnidirectional to Uvena. What do you say? Number 2, okay for you. Right. Agree? Agree. Exec. And uh, you are ready to find level 320. Check. Uh, Weber is on the right side. Left side, south side. Check taxi, here we go. Clear left. Nine seven one for information, traffic uh, incoming uh, runway 14 and uh, reaching uh, 14 miles final. 
Roger, ring a 971. Uh, it's taxi if you can. Yes, sir, thanks. Are we clear to line up? We are clear for line up. Okay, the final Se security. One, two, is free. Right is clear. Uh, Straw right. button, thanks. Ready for takeoff safety briefing? Uh, ready? Yep. Takeoff lap 15, uh, trim uh, 4.25, checked. Flaps check. Uh, full length uh, runway 12, and cross weight 318.6, uh, uh, cover for 319, correct. V2175, selected two times. Arid Blanc, Toga, Toga, Elna, Vinavarm. Flight level uh, 320, flight gear heading 1 to 1. In case of failure, uh, before V1? Before we, V1, uh, ready uh, and, and I'm also stopped and uh, reduction, uh, to thrust disconnect. You check speed brake up, uh, reverse green, auto brake, 60 knots, and uh, you communicate with uh, the tower and communicate and with the Copy it. After V1? After V1, uh, we continue, we follow VSID. Climbing minimum 3,000 feet, uh, acceleration will be 1,100 feet. Any question? No question. Okay. No cabin question. ready is missing or right. only? Right, no cabin. No cabin ready oh. is it's coming. just coming. Uh, right, before takeoff, checklist complete. Um, uh, checklist complete. Huh? Roger, break 946, distance inbound. Uh, we check now 6 uh, nautical miles. Radio 946. And remember, we have to launch the elapsed time. Okay, right. 946, uh, runway 14, clear to land, wind 100 degrees, 17. Uh, clear to land, uh, runway 14, radio 946. And 971, so hold position. Call you back for departure. Okay, maintaining position. Just waiting for the landing traffic, and you will see uh, just before, just ahead of us, the landing traffic. Uh, and then our first trial also. So, for the little story, this is a cross runway here in uh, Reunion, enfin in, in uh, Saint Denis, so we're on runway 12. Runway 1 2, and we have the traffic landing runway 1 4. Steps on. Ryan 9, uh, 971, uh, runway 1 2, clear takeoff 100 degrees to the owner. Ryan 971, we are careful to go runway 1 2. Elapse, and takeoff V1 uh, 164. Trust set. Check. Hold. Let's get this uh, direct to Alpha. 
welcome back. Euh, ce sera le poste numéro 6. Bon repos. À droite Alpha, poste 6, réunion 946. Merci, bonne journée. A1. Rotate. Positive right. Get up. I'll nap. Select heading by left. Heading left. Climb on. Check. Say the flight is very quiet. This is what we call sterile cockpit. So we need to have only the, f the words we uh, part of our standard operating procedures that are to be called, and all the rest is uh, is completely uh, not authorized. Acceleration three two zero knots one thousand procedure. Thousand percent. Ten thousand. Yeah. Seven two eight and seven forty one. You are number one, number two? I'm number first of so, uh, two. Contact with uh, Tana. Yes. 
Sand. We're in the air for about 10 hours and 35 minutes. We're going to cross many different areas, and the first one we're in is uh, Madagascar, where we have CPLC. So we're now connected to them. Next will uh, will be Seychelles, and then we'll have Mogadishu, uh, Addis. All that will be on uh, CPDLC for Seychelles, and then uh, we'll revert to, uh, to this good old uh, HF docking on uh, 1169 one for the uh, in-flight uh, broadcast uh, procedure. And then the rest HF for the HC. Anyway, it will be a lovely day. As you will, you will see. Uh, we'll be overflying Egypt, so we'll be quite, quite far from the pyramids, but uh, she'll have some really nice nights nice too. So as you can see, boys and David are quite focused on, on what they're doing, and there will be no, no words exchange all the way up to our cruising altitude. We are now cruising uh, flight level uh, 320 on our uh, Boeing uh, 777. Uh, we are approaching uh, the Somalia coast uh, for our position. And uh, I will ask you, Boris, our captain, today, to say a few words uh, about our company, Aerostral. Aerostral is uh, an old company, it's a French uh, company, which is uh, based in Reunion Island in Indian Ocean. And uh, the company exists uh, since uh, 1975. Uh, first flying uh, short haul uh, flight uh, from Mauritius to Reunion, then from uh, Mayotte to Reunion, and uh, Madagascar also, and uh, later on uh, South Africa uh, with uh, Boeing uh, 737 and uh, later on uh, ATR. Um, the Boeing 777 uh, came in uh, Aerostral uh, in uh, 2003. 2003. Yes, right. And first with the two uh, 777-200 extended uh, range, and uh, the, this airplane uh, came to fly uh, uh, from Reunion to Paris. Uh, and uh, now we have uh, three 777-300. Uh, uh, nearly new airplane because uh, the two of them has only two years old. Two years old, yeah. And uh, this one has uh, eight years old. We have also uh, Boeing 787. Uh, we have two. Yes, two. Boeing, two Boeing 787, uh, which has uh, only two years old and fly mainly uh, for Mayotte. Uh, from Mayotte Paris. Paris to Paris, then uh, Reunion to Mayotte. And, and also, Coke also. Uh, and Coke also. Yeah. we fly uh, with the 787 to back. Um, 
it's interesting to say that uh, uh, the triple seven and the Boeing seven eight seven is the same type routing, and uh, we are the first company um, in uh, France to operate to operate the Boeing seven eight seven, and uh, this is the same pilot. Uh, which flies the same as the Boeing 777 and the Boeing 787 so it, it's nice for us nice for us to, to fly both airplanes well uh, we will see now uh, uh, the 777 in details with uh, all the panel yes we can start uh, by this side if you want yes you have uh, the MCP the board control panel we can uh, communicate with uh, the autopilot manually by, by this, this way. You have uh, the auto throttle uh, arm switch, speed intervention, you have a heading, uh, you have a flight path, uh, vertical path. Vertical path, uh, sorry, and uh, here we manage uh, the altitude for this part. This part is a uh, uh, which part is it? Uh, we call it uh, display control panel with the main generator, etc. And we also uh, um, find this part on here, on the, on the panel. panel yeah. The switch is here, and the situation uh, where display is here. Displays the you can see here. Okay. We can also check uh, hydraulic uh, panel, and the overhead panel is here for the hydraulic. All is okay, the fuel, we can say left main tank, right main tank and center. Uh, here we are, remaining fuel is uh, 70.5 tons. Here, yeah. okay, everything is good, about the doors, automatic, the gear, not important here. Flight control and the outside camera. There it is. Uh, now we talk about uh, this part called uh, FIS uh, display panel. We can uh, manage uh, all information uh, on our screen. It's a redundant uh, system. We have the same on both sides. Uh, this part we have uh, a CDU. The CDU uh, is used to, to communicate with uh, the computer of the aircraft. We can uh, use on the screen, uh, maybe to select uh, something uh, to communicate to communicate with uh, with a cars and uh, CBDLC. Oh, yes, with a cars or CBDLC, something like this. You have a trim, a lever, speed brake, the uh, throttle, lever, flaps lever, control switch. Stabilizer, stabilizer. Uh, we call it an emergency uh, uh, procedure only. Uh, here we have a radio control, the ACP, audio control uh, panel. Yes, to, the transponder. to use, use, it, use it to communicate in the HF, HF cabin, passenger's address. Uh, sure. A lot of radio. And SATCOM also. A third uh, CDU here for uh, communication, uh, satellite communication, etc. And, uh, and as a backup, as a radio uh, also a backup, yeah, of course. And the same thing uh, with a radar here, radar command located uh, here. Uh, the hydraulic panel. Uh, I came back to the uh, electro, elect, uh, electric uh, pan electrical panel. We have uh, two main generators and uh, two backup generators, uh, so two generators for each engine. And we switch here all the source of electrical APU or external power. Hydraulic panel, we have three circuit, hydraulic circuits, and uh, fuel panel also, anti-ice panel, and the light panel. And finally, the uh, air panel, which uh, controls the pressurization, and uh, be there the air conditioning system. Right. We also have uh, two T 
killers this airplane yes on the boeing 777 right and left hand uh, my first job i was a military pilot i spent uh, about uh, 17 years in the french navy and uh, the maritime uh, patrol and uh, for my retraining uh, i joined the uh, air Austral in uh, 2014 and i started uh, on the ATR-72, uh, I spent uh, two years uh, flying the ATR, and I've, I got the opportunity to to fly uh, the Boeing 347. And uh, in fact, now I'm flying both uh, Boeing 347 and uh, the Boeing uh, 787. It's very very nice. And you, Boris? And me. Uh uh, I was uh, like maybe you, uh, fascinated by aviation, and uh, uh, I was, I think, I always want to be a pilot. And then, so I, I work on ground in an old French company called uh, Air Outremer, AOM. Yeah. And uh, I saw a lot of uh, pilot working, and then uh, I want to to be a pilot, and. Uh, I uh, I first began to be a pilot in the Air Tahiti, in French Polynesia, uh, on ATR, uh, flying over a uh, lot of uh, islands, 45 destinations, 45 islands, atoll and island. It was very nice. Then I come to Air Austral uh, 13 years ago uh, as a co-pilot uh, on 777. Then I uh, went back to an eight year as a, a captain, and then uh, I five years as a, an eight year at Austral, then three years on the Boeing 737, and uh, now uh, two years in the triple seven. Some interesting figure. We took off at uh, 320. Uh, we are very heavy, a lot of passengers. We have uh, 1,441 passengers. Um, and uh, we will burn uh, around uh, maybe nearly 90,000 uh, fuel, uh, 90 tons, 90,000 tons of fuel. Uh, so uh, uh, for this flight uh, from Réunion to Paris, which uh, lasts uh, nearly 11 hours. So we took off from uh, Réunion Island. Réunion Island is a very interesting uh, destination. Uh, it's uh, an island of 2,500 uh, kilometers uh, square and uh, there is uh, 700,000 people and it is very interesting because it's an Indian Ocean and we uh, we have a beach and also a beautiful so we can uh, ride a lot of things, ride a bike, uh, uh, running, uh, and very uh, lot of uh, sport activities in Reunion. And uh, I suggest uh, everyone uh, to get there. Very interesting for the holidays. So we took off from Reunion, and uh, from Reunion to Paris, we mainly uh, fly over Indian Ocean. In first. In the first part, yeah. first part not far from uh, Madagascar. Then uh, we just leave uh, the Seychelles uh, zone, and we are now in uh, Somalia, and, and we will fly also then uh, in uh, Ethiopia, and uh, then in uh, Sudan, Egypt, and fly over Medi Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea, and then. Uh, uh, I've heard, uh, if you want to show ah, yes, the track, we have here. Thank you. Uh, Mediterranean Sea, then uh, Greece, and uh, then Italy and France, finally. So I said uh, nearly 11 hours to fly uh, from Réunion to Paris. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this presentation of the Aerostral and uh, Boeing 777. Um, maybe 
I wish you fly with us and uh, come to see uh, Reunion Island. Thank you very much. I'm back from my uh, from my break. I was in the uh, upper crew rest for uh, for a few hours. I was the first to go, and now the captain replaced me. So I'm I'm today the uh, relief captain on the flight. So David is uh, still flying, and I'm taking all this pilot monitoring role. So I do mainly the radio and and, and the paper for now. About the flight stages, we we're now flying over the over the Egypt. We have on the right side of the aircraft a few... I can't remember the name of that airport, but uh, Cairo is, is pretty near. It's about 160 miles away. So it could be a diversion if we had any problem. And um, next will be the Mediterranean coast and, and Europe. So we're pretty, 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 pretty close to the end. I mean, still a few four hours to go but uh, it's getting closer just to give you a few words about me so I'm uh, I'm flying Air Austral since uh, 2011 and it's been uh, a dream come true you know I started in medium hole on 737 for a few years and uh, two years ago I stepped up to the to to the white body to the triple sevens and a few months after that the seven eight seven we're lucky enough to be flying two planes on the same sector which which makes it a little uh, exciting you know but uh, it is exciting to fly a, a white body but as a, maybe a future pilot that you are you need to know that in the medium hole you do you do a lot of sector you fly a lot manually you it takes a lot of pleasure to do so. Flying wide bodies is really interesting because uh, it's big aircraft. It's a lot of automation, but um, but you don't you don't have to fly the opportunity to fly as much as you could do in medium holes. For example, I do maybe max three landing a month, which is way less than what I was doing back in the medium hole where I could uh, where I could land maybe 20 times. So this is something you have to to have in mind when you dream when you dream about the big planes because because uh, it's another it's a job in the job I mean, and uh, so take your time if you become a pilot tomorrow make the make really the most of the medium hole and then one day go for big planes but no rush no rush about it so it takes it takes a while to be uh, to become a pilot so, I, so maybe you guys are just starting it's a good period now a lot of air, a lot of airline are looking for pilots is there will be a lot of retirements all around Europe and uh, many many aircraft in order in Asia and other other regions of the world so if you if you are on the will to go go around and just uh, just enjoy your your life uh, as, a, as a pilot just just go for it it's the right time there are really three major major things you have to know I mean if you if you're not sure you want to be a pilot 
let's let's see if you can be. I mean, to to be a pilot, you need to you need to enjoy to be a little away from home. So you need to enjoy the movement that it involves. You also need to to like the the technology. Obviously, this is a lot of technicity and and I mean you, you're flying you're flying a machine, so you need to be comfortable with that. And then uh, a big part today of the job is to deal with uh, men and women. That's, you know, we, uh, all this human, I mean, crew resource management aspect of the job is, is really important. So you need to be really, uh, really into, into being social, not too social, but a bit social. So, so we, I mean, as a pilot for uh, Air Austral, I have to, to say that we're really lucky pilots. We live in a really, really nice place of a uh, really nice region of the world, right next to Mauritius. So really, really close by. It's uh, it's only a little 125 miles away from uh, from Mauritius in the southwest. This is a little piece of France in uh, in paradise. So luckily, this little territory has an airline, which is Air Austral. And since uh, it's now 15 years, we we do long haul out of uh, out of the island. So proudly, you know, we go we go to many different uh, islands around Madagascar. I would say about uh, Seychelles, Mayotte. We go to South Africa. We do we do India. We go to Thailand. So and then obviously France, because uh, our 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 main our main market would be to this link between uh, France mainland and this. The, uh, I mean this island, Rainin Island, but also Mayotte, because we now we deserve both, and uh, I mean we we go down to both, and we we tend to be the link between uh, this little territories in the South Hemisphere and and France. So Rainin, as you could think, it's it's right it's right next to uh, to 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 the cup uh, to the to the tropic of capricorn so we uh the weather is just uh, lovely it's a big volcano so we're, we're right on the water clear water it's 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 the it's the highest summit of the indian ocean is on Rainin island so which makes it also a bit particular because you you know sometimes we have snow in Rainin island it's it happened maybe once in <laughs> the last uh, hundred years but uh, you know it could happen so we uh, we we're, we're, we tend to be very 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 lucky you know no, normally in such a small territory you wouldn't find an, air, an, an airline but we do exist and uh, and it works so rain in island well, I mean rain in island got a bit popular a few few months back we had a uh, volcano eruptions so a lot of tourism I mean a lot of tourists came down to see that which is a bit exceptional, you know, it's not, not everyone on the planet, so... This is a... Um, it's an island that is a little less touristic uh, than Mauritius, but uh, it's... It has a, a one, one kind of an identity, so... Come down to see us, you know, you, you'll be surprised. And of course, if you come down to Rainer Island, please fly your hostel, you know. You'll be there, you'll be, we, we will take care of you, good care. So we, regarding the fleet, we have uh, four different types. We have uh, ATRs for the, for the really the short hauls. And then we have uh, 737, with which we, we have two, with which we, uh, with which we go to Seychelles, to Madagascar, to India, to, to Johannesburg and South Africa, so we main, this is our, uh, I mean, our medium haul modules, and then for the whole, for the long, long haul we have uh, triple sevens that are mainly on the, on the, on the line from uh, Rainin Island all the way up to Paris Charles de Gaulle, and then we have the 787 with which we do the Mayotte all the way up to Paris, so Luckily, you know, it's it's kind of a, a very young uh, young fleet. I think the eldest are maybe uh, the eldest is in this aircraft, and it was uh, first flight maybe in 2010. So it's only eight, eight years old. So it's quite it's quite amazing for uh, for an airline to have uh, to have new air, aircraft like, like that. The pilot flying for Austral can can actually start on the ATR, and it's. It is the same airline 
we do regarding progressions we uh, a few of us started in the ATR and then went all the way up to to the triple seven and now as we do this common sector which we have this mixed fleet between seven eight seven and triple seven they fly both aircraft so it's kind of a dream come through you know to to be able to just to um, to do all that within the same airline you don't have to to think about maybe moving my name is Kamel Bouzid, I'm from Belgium, Algeria. I'm 41 years old, I'm a flight attendant since 11 years. So, before I begin my career to the Euro Disney and train TGV, I was barman to 7 years old, and also now I'm flight attendant. Working for Aerostral is a flight company, you have all nationality represented. It's a very, very good paradise for working. You have a lot of young people and <laughs> Young, young working towards this. So, uh, I like this job because uh, I like the contact with the people, you know. Uh, it's not the same, same like uh, 8 to uh, 4 hours p.m. It's not the same, 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 same. You can change all everything and uh, it's not similar day, you know, similar working. Uh, it's very good experience I'm doing. <coughs> I, th I think I finished this career. I'm going to finish in this job because I like working a lot. I like travel a lot and like the contact and like see the other face and other different people. Uh, I have a good experience in Australia, New Caledonia, uh, Bangkok also, to the Asia. Uh, I was to Brazil also and France and Europe. And for the rest, I think you need to come to the air well to take the plane. And uh, I have a flight to the 777 Boeing 200, 777 200 LA. 777300, Dreamliner 787, and also ETA. Uh, it's it's very it, it, it's important to stay to the this place to Indian Ocean because you have a mix of culture. You can travel travel in other other people place. So now we're going to talk about the service about uh, this plane 777300. You have three classes: economy classes and comfort classes and business classes. You have two parts of service. Uh, when departure, you have lunch, and before landing, you have a dinner uh, for the economic class. There is no choice for the meal. When you go to the comfort class, you have the same departure, lunch, arriving, dinner, and you have choice. You can have two choice about the meal, two choice about the wine, and something like that. You have champagne also, uh, before you have aperitif, before takeoff. And that's what is very great. And after you have the hostel class, is the business class. It's the business class is the same service, lunch and dinner. But you have a lot of choice about red wine, white wine, champagne, and spiritual uh, alcohol. You can have it. And you have three choices about the meal, or meal or fish, or up to you. Huh? It's it's out to life. And uh, is, you have different places in the in the plane or. In economy, you can have more space. If you go to the end of the plane, you have more space. You have the B place, and it's easier for to put the legs. Huh? And you have also, and at the issue, you can have also more places to the issue. That is great for the economy. In the comfort class, you have 40 people. That was great. More calm, less noisy. That was great. And the business class, that's the business class. It's the best of the best. <laughs> Thank you to flying to Aerostar. I'm back from my rest, three hours of rest. Um, we are now uh, we, have, we are now flying uh, uh, for nine hours, and um, we are over Italia, not far from uh, Roma, and we are just avoiding some thunderstorm uh, um, here, and uh, we'll we'll land uh, in Paris uh, in about uh, one hours and forty minutes now. Um, in Paris, uh, so the weather here sometimes 
so for the cruise now is good, some bumpy, sometimes, but uh, in Paris it's, it's good weather and we will uh, landing uh, facing uh, west and with temperature of 19 degrees, so uh, good, uh, good weather. Um, so David's flying is uh, now resting, he will come back uh, one hour before landing and the second David uh, is now with us. So uh, I hope uh, you enjoy uh, this flight. Now we will uh, take uh, a dinner and then uh, we will uh, start to prepare uh, the arrival and the descent is forecast uh, in uh, about uh, one hour. Thank you for watching. Okay, are you ready for the brief? We are ready for the briefing. Yes. Okay, um, talk about the uh, treat and error management. Um, I have nothing more to say uh, um, than the, the same as departure due to uh, all cameras facing us. We do as usual, flying SOP and uh, something else. No. Okay. About the status aircraft. Uh, I recall we have nothing, status nothing also, aircraft is fit, uh, wave and no term, uh, carbock at destination, the goal, and uh, alternate uh, early also, yes. we can proceed and about no term, uh, only the on way 26 uh, left, it's closed, yes, only that for me, about the, about the fuel, we need a uh, Six ton on arrival. Yes. We have more than uh, 30 minutes uh, holding. Reduce to Mach 0.78 on request of Paris. Mach 78, uh, Rignan 971. And uh, report is now to Paris. 132 decimal 380, goodbye. 32380, goodbye, Rignan 971. Uh, Mach 78. Uh, 380, hein, c'est ça? Uh, yes, uh, point seven eight. Check, uh, Check. for descent also. Oh yeah, right. Point seven eight uh, is coming, and uh, I continue the brief. Yes. Uh, top of descent uh, will be at four eight. Uh, Chinil uh, eight whiskey confirmed. Yes, confirmed. tower insert in the CDU and uh, safe altitude will be uh, three thousand two hundred feet. We just. Uh, we're just 25 miles. Okay. Uh, type of approach we perform uh, IRS, runway 26 right. Right. Uh, we have already checked the uh, legs and the contraint in the CDU. Uh, we are good with that. Um, about the nav, uh, it's free. We have uh, an automatic uh, for the approach. Uh, RNP, RNP, array the 0 0.3 for the approach. Landing performance. Not this one. For autobreak uh, 4, I read uh, 1742 meters. Check. Okay. We have checked the weight uh, for landing. The distance, uh, uh, I will operate only uh, reverse idle. Okay. And uh, we can uh, have a look on the chart, ground chart. Uh, 
360. Uh, we have a um, display threshold okay. on our way to six right. Okay. And uh, less than 2,000 meters, we have uh, uh, Whiskey 2. And we'll be a beam uh, Tango Alpha 2. Okay. For the apron, uh, uh, Charlie. Okay. At ATC order. Nothing special for me? Do you have something to add? No question? Everything's complete. Thank you. Réunion 971, tournée à gauche, cap 280. À gauche, 280. 780. Check. On prend 22 cadres, attendez les cours. 770 écho, descendez niveau 300. Réunion 971, descendez niveau 330. Descendez level 17 Delta Alpha, descendez niveau 350. Check, descendez 370. Trust, Alpha, Alpha, point 75, niveau 350. La France 17 Delta Alpha, point 75, niveau 350. Uh, the LS uh, 265, two, two things, right? Uh, Charlie Golf, November in operative, wind 330 knots, temperature 18 and 1016. Cavalcade. Okay. Bonjour, Tinil 8. Tinil 8. So you start to descend 330, right? Yes, only that. Réunion 971, descendez niveau 300. Niveau 300. Reunion 971 at 105 degrees right. 105 degrees right. 291, descend level 200, direct Urello. Descend 200, direct Urello, 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 132 Bonjour Réunion, Niner 71, clear de Kipa pour Whisky, expect ILS 26 right, descend level 70. Ok, Kipa pour Whisky, ILS 26 right, descend level 0. Réunion 971 négatif, flight level 070. 070. Zero, seven, zero. Golf Alpha Uniform Identify. Axis 265. <coughs> 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 
156, euh, papa deux fois, à droite 15 degrés. À droite 15 degrés, papa deux fois. Break down. Petite bird de trip à ta gauche, turn right, uh, heading 140. Right turn, heading 140, degrees, to the street pump. La France euh, 770 Seco à droite 15 degrés. À droite 15 degrés, Tony Seco. Réunion 971, speed 220. 221, 221. Alors, 220, on va prendre up pour l'instant. Check. Sierra Mike Alpha, descend flight level 70. Descend 70, Sierra Mike Alpha. Réunion Niner 71, descent à uh, 5000 feet 1016. Descent 5000 feet 1016, and we have almost Ok, that's fine, thank you. Ok, 5000, we select the uh, QNH right and left side, approach checklist. Approach checklist, Sierra Mike, QNH 1016. Set approach checklist, complete. Thanks. On descend niveau 8-0 et 256 au niveau 100, 57 sur le grand haut. You can uh, select uh, direct intercept. Golf Alpha Uniform uh, 12. Right, Course 265, check. Exec. Uh, Exec. It's the same, yeah. Yeah. You are in L now, so you can stay in the heading. Reunion Niner 7-1, descend 4000 feet 101. Check. Lock diamond on the good side. Uh, yeah, clear. Lock arm. Check. Cabin ready. Check. Proceeding aircraft, it's five nautical mile, mile ahead of us. Yeah. Flaps 1, speed check. Speed 1, speed alt, check. Flaps 5, speed check, flaps 5, and speed 5. Check. Altitude 5000 mm, autorisé ILS 26 droite, Air France 57 degrés. France 17 Delta Alpha, à gauche au Cap 3 10, autorisé ILS 26 droite. À gauche Cap 3 10, autorisé ILS 26 droite, Air France 17 Delta Alpha. Cube of trip, Papa Golf, have you got the 385.2 miles to head in flight and can you accept visual expression with him? I have, Papa Golf. Ok, so Cube of trip, Papa Golf. Ok, so Cube of trip, Papa Golf. Check. Ok, Cube of trip, Papa Golf. Ok, Cube of trip, Papa Golf. Thank you, Papa Golf. Air France 770, Echo 169. Réunion Air France 17 Delta Alpha 162 On va dire 169 Air France 17 Delta Alpha Air France 17 Delta Alpha, je vous demande une réduction rapide, vous êtes derrière un triple 7 D'accord, on réduit rapidement Air France 17 Delta Alpha Glide arm Ready, glide arm Check I suggest flaps, maybe 15 Air France 57 Delta Alpha, 15 Speed check Vitesse qui pourrait être en 57 Delta Alpha Euh, ok. Réunion Niner 71, keep 180 until my call. Uh, 180 until my call. I uh, expect uh, something to happen. Ah. Who is my call? Contact Le Bourget 118, Réunion Niner 71, speed 160. Speed 160, il y a 9 Alors. 85, 202. Glide active. Check. La France 85 à gauche, au cap 300 pour les LS 26. We maintain 164. Right. Roger. Glide slow. 4000 feet, sec. In case of go around, it will be uh, go around, toga toga, flaps 20. 
We will maintain on way axis until 4000. Acceleration altitude to 1900 feet. Réunion Niner 7, one contact the tower, 120, this small Niner, and keep 160 until 4. 120 on Niner and keep 160 until 4. Merci, 3000, descendez 5000 km. Tower, we got the. Bon, euh, it's Réunion 971. Yes. Uh, Réunion 971, uh, bonjour, continue à LS26 right, wind 320 degrees 7 north, east 20 north. Uh, in English or French? Uh, Uh, he said gusting 20, uh, 20 knots? Complete. Gear down, flaps 20. Flaps 20. Flaps 30. Speed check. Flaps 30. We have one done. For logical mice. All out fair entry. Check. Landing checklist. Landing checklist complete. Checklist complete. Casting 20 knots, clear to land runway 26 right. Clear to land uh, 26 right, green and nine seven one. Copy it down. Copy the wind. It was uh, stabilized. Check. Autopilot disconnect. Flight dear. Nine knots from the right.
Ouais, c'est quoi Oui, bonne soirée. Bonne soirée. Clear on the right side. Like this, like this. Yeah, straight, yeah, straight, yeah, yeah. straight. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Turn down. Ocean 418 Golf, approaching Tango Bravo 1. Ocean 418 Golf, ground 12181, bye bye. 1281, bye bye, Austin 41 Echo. Japan Air 46, long pushback facing east, incoming traffic Echo 32 in front of you. Japan Air 46, long pushback. We go from 0 0.038, uh, Fox 94, ready for push. Call you back. JT3, Charles Zulu, the goal ground 121810, Nash to the now, bye bye. Nash to the now, bye bye. Nash to the now, bye bye. Nash to the now, Fox 94, push and start facing north. Push and start facing north, Zulu, bye bye. Bonsoir, bonne voie à vos TF1, Centrale, Fox 4. TF1, Centrale, Fox 4, Centrale, Fox 4, Centrale, Fox 4. Park au max 7, AB Union, check. Stop. And so the flight is over now. Let's go for the papers. Thank you for watching. Thank you all of you. Thanks. And Jeff off.